one of the things that turned up about politics of womb in its uh, research was that there were multifaceted aspects to reproduction and even when people were exploring reproduction as an option artificially not naturally is what i mean when they felt when they were told that they were infertile they didn't even know whether they were infertile or not but there is this whole lobby that has come up call it a medical lobby call it a reproductional lobby call it what you want but there is this whole lobby that has come up that is that is making people feel ashamed and i mean especially men because for them reproduction is understood as their virility which is such rubbish but the medical lobby in fact a section of the medical lobby let me amend that please a section of the medical lobby is is focused on making feel ashamed of what is being labeled as their infertility and as a consequence the largest exploitation that is happening in its name is that of human eggs human eggs come only from women and the younger the girl the better it is so what is happening is a large scale feeding injecting her with hormones and if you if you have a problem with chickens being stuffed with hormones and on your plates how can you not have a problem with human beings girls being stuffed with hormones so that their eggs women produce only one viable egg a month girls are being harvested and i use the word harvested wisely and with a lot of responsibility girls are being harvested 40 eggs 50 eggs and these eggs are being removed and we have no idea where they are going they're not all going towards baby making so there is egg trafficking what is called oocyte trafficking after that there is human trafficking in the form of commercial surrogates who are also being injected over and over and over again their breasts after they deliver are being bound tight with strips of cloth because they're leaking breast milk is that what we want is that what anybody in this world wants because this is what is being done to women young girls and women the world over in the name of an innocent unborn